Hello friends, welcome to chapter 3 of learning C. In this chapter we are going to discuss what are support and resistance. In the previous chapter we learned that OI chains, OI and volume are responsible for making support or resistance. Now we will how we can identify where is our support, where is our resistance. To do that we have a two simple rules that are First, we need to know what are the maximum OI, OI change and volume and at what strike price. So, we will select the maximum OI, OI change and volume of that strike price. Then, whichever strike price is nearest to the current market, that is nearest to the spot, will be our support if that is for the put side that, and it will be resistance if that is for the call side. In AOC, you can easily spot that we have made it very easy and with color coding, but underlying concept or the calculation, we need to know a little bit about that. So, let's try to decode that. Suppose market is at 2400, example, market is at 2400, these are the strike price, whatever they can be, we do not care about that. We will start looking from 1 in the money, 1 in the money towards OTM for the call side that is resistance side, ok. We will search for the maximum number that are for volume, OI and OI chain. We are not comparing OI and OI chain, we are comparing strike price volume with volume of that particular same strike price. Suppose this is our maximum volume. This is strike price as maximum OI, this is strike price as maximum OI change. What we do? We will give 100% marking, 100% marking to the maximum volume of that, uh, that strike price and calculate relative percentage of those strike price. Similarly, for OI, we will do the same. We will keep 100% for the maximum OI and calculate other percentage in terms of maximum OI. Now in AOC that 100% is marked as red box for OI, Y chain and volume. Among those red boxes whichever is nearest to the current market price will be our resistance. That will be our resistance. Similarly in the put side whichever strike price that is the maximum or the green box and is nearest to the spot price that will be our support. Now let's look at AOC and try to identify what are our support and resistance. To start with, let's look at call side, they are 100%. There might be somewhere OI. Now, market is at 1823, which is strike price is nearest to 40, and that is volume, volume by chain. So, in this case, our resistance is 1840 because of volume and OI. That you can also see here on the header. Similarly for the support it says 1800 that is because of volume OI and OI change right. Please do not get confused if all three are making support that is a strong support or there is only volume or only OI that will be weak support. Things doesn't work that way. We will learn how we can identify, identify which supports are strong, which supports is STT, which is STV and all that in chapter 4. Now, let's look at another example, Mbuja cement for example. Here, similar situation we have for resistance side, volume and OI change making our resistance at 535. 535 similarly, 3 and 530 is our support, you can easily see there. One example, one exception here, what it is, is OI is 249. Why is that 249? Why is this 200? Because we are looking at one OTM, that is why we are not considering this strike price. In this case, we have 530 as our support because of volume and OI change. Another example, 940 is our support because of volume and OI. Similarly, 960 is our resistance because of volume and OI change. So, I hope you are able to identify the support and resistance. You can easily see it on AOC. Support and resistance are clearly mentioned, but you need to know how, how is that calculated. For this video, we will keep this short. 
in the next videos we will learn how we can identify what kind of support it is and how to trade based on that support and resistance do if you like this video please do like share subscribe and leave your valuable feedback on this video we'll see you in the next chapter thank you for watching